Yo guys, I'm Fasty Rides. Welcome along today to this tutorial on how to, or should I say, how I colour grade my videos for, you know, my channel. There's a few ways of doing it and I'm just going to teach you a few ways of how I do it and a few little tips and tricks along the way. Now we are using DaVinci Resolve because personally I think that's the best software on the net for it and it is free, so why not? So what I've done here is I've just pulled in two clips here that are the uh, from my last outing at the Trough of Boland. Uh, so there's that clip there, and we're gonna we've just placed a mark up here, and we're gonna color grade this as well because it's got a lot of shadows in, but it's got some highlights up here as well. Uh, here's one. This is the one at the beginning where I'm at the petrol station. Still, again, highlights up here. Uh, the cloud details go in there so we're going to try pull some of that out and make these uh, colors pop a little more so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight that uh, that track there and then we're going to go into the color side or the color tab so as you will see here this is your preview window and uh, here's your nodes we're going to use these and these are more or less like layers but if you can't see them yet then you can just click nodes up at the top there they'll come out uh, you'll notice here as well the gallery LUTs media these LUTs you can try some of them different ones if you want but I haven't found one that's any good for what I do anyway so I just go on gallery here uh, so here is your primary wheels or primaries and they're in, if you look in these tabs here, these are all different ones, HDR and all that lot. Well, it's the third one on. And then we're wanting the first one for colour wheels. So not log wheels, colour wheels. Here you have your uh, curves and then you have your colour warper. You can cut, it's called a qualifier, but basically it's a colour picker. So you can actually just uh, maybe pick all this here. And you can see there that all the white is selected there or the same same shade on the screen or the sky or whatever like that but we just want to undo them so we don't need them uh, this is your masking tool which you don't really use in color graded well you can if you want if you want to just do like a different area motion tracker blur and sharpness uh, this is key. I don't really know what that is for. I don't use it that much, to be honest. Well, I've never used it. Uh, sizing, so you can edit the sizing and whatnot. But first of all, we're going to try going on here. So one of the things that you can do, I mean, you can you can see that there isn't that much contrast in this image. So what you can do is you can go down to contrast and do it that way. you can see the the difference in it i mean if you go too far to bring out them shadows you can see a hazing across it which you don't really want so we're just going to keep that at one for the moment and now i do need to tell you about this scopes down here scopes is all your pixels so obviously it's a, a red green and blue picture or video and this is all the red pixels in it, starting off down at the bottom with black, that's pure black, so that's a pixel with no detail in it apart from black, and then working its way up, in a percentage wise, right up to the white. So let's just say for instance here, if we were to bring all these white ones down, can you see the clouds at the top there? They're coming more out because we're darkening the sky a bit. And then same with the blacks as well. You can lift the blacks by just doing that as well. Now the curves for instance starts off at black down here at the bottom and then works its way up to white. So one of the things that you can do to pull the uh, pull the shadows a bit is just lift it up like that and then you can bring down the highlights by doing something like that. And then to check it you can use this button up here or you can use shift and D so as you can see already the big difference I've already pulled out some of the shadows brought some of the detail back in the sky but you can see it has like a little haze over it but very very light and to, we can do that in full screen as well so that's control and F and you can use your shift and D to see the differences so that's one way of doing it Control and F back out. So what we need to do is reset this because if you can see there, that means that I've added a curve to it. 
so we want to reset that and we're going to keep that as the original one then what we're going to do is we're going to add another one of these so what you can do is press alt and s and that will create another node or another layer so whatever we do on this layer now with it being selected will only apply to this node it won't apply to that node so let's just say for instance we did a really crazy thing like that you can still take it on and off or you can delete it or whatever you want to do let's just reset that so let's start off with this image in this first layer so basically we need to pull the shadows out well we're going to look down here for this because if you see down at the bottom in your scopes this is called a parade by the way you can see that on the very bottom line that there's them white dots that means that there's pixels there that have detailing that have clipped out so they're underneath the zero mark so you can't see them as it stands so we're going to try pulling them back by just pulling up this little thing here don't want to go too far not like there where we should be we've still got to go you know because it's just going to pull too much hairs out of it so let's just try at the bottom of the curve say something like that and let's just have a look at the difference straight away yes yeah, so that's pulled some of them shadows out and then we've got at the top the same problem we've got pixels that have clipped out up here and this is where we're going to try pull some of that detail back so you can come into the gain one here which just means highlights and you can drag that down a bit somewhere like there and then we can have a look at the difference we can go click on that see it's already starting to look a lot better we've pulled some of that detail out of there and all we've done is brought these into play so as you can see the green really could do with pulling down a little bit in the bottom so you can actually click on the green one here and it'll just alter the green around so if we even them out that looks better it's a little more even on the bottom and it's same with the top there's too much blue in it there's loads of blue up here so we could actually take some of the blue out of the sky just a little touch maybe somewhere like there because them points look even really now what we need to do is give it some punch really give it some uh, give it some more detail so as you can see up here in the highlights we did bring out some of that detail in the clouds in the highlight so what we're going to try and do is bring some more out you can use this mid detail here so if you want to scroll in zoom in with your middle mouse button and then we can see on screen here you can click on this and drag it up yeah you can see it there makes it really sh you know it makes the clouds look pretty sharp so let's just bring it up to there and then see what the world's like before oh yeah look at these clouds here for sp specifically you can actually see all the detail come through there right to make this uh, go back to the size that it was before you click up on this arrow and go fit and then there you go so now if we just have a look at the uh, full image and that's the differences so far I mean to be honest we've still got a little hazing over it and I would like to put a little bit back you can really tell down here in this black area how you can see that pipe underneath going into the radiator right so control and F comes out of that so that's just basically with the wheels now we've got other things that we can do here to make make the colors punch a little bit right so now what we need to do is add some uh, detail into it so we've already added some into the mid details with this mid detail here so I wanted to specifically show you on the walls here can you see that we've brought plenty of detail out in them in that brickwork in fact even on the other side of the road in the in the distance you can see some of the details come through but you can actually go one one step further on this we can come into this tab here which is called blur and sharpness and if you be very careful with this one look how sharp that makes it so I like to come down from on here where it says 50 
I usually like to come down just one, one or two points, so maybe 48. And then we'll have a look at that in the full, see what it looks like. We've got definite sharpness there. Specifically in this brickwork. You can really tell, can't you? And look at the shadows in this tree as well. The detail of that tree's come out. So that is generally how I would uh, edit a, a scene like this. But let's try it on a different one. So if we go up to this point here, click on this, go to the color tab, and then we need to add a node, so that's Alt and S. And then because this image is really harsh, you know, there's a, there's a nice mountain in the front of us, but we've got the grass here on this side and then we've got nearly the dead grass on that side but then we've got like a really harsh sun in front of us and then a lot of shadow on this wall and on the road here and if you look at the parade as well it isn't even is it you've got red with this scope coming down here you've got green which is halfway up and then that one's right in the highlights for the for the sky so you just have to be a little bit careful with these so we're just going to start with the highlights just try and make them more bothered about the sky at the moment so I'm just going to pull that back a little bit like that because then we've got all the blue underneath even though there's a lot of detail missing out of there it is clear sky so it's not too bad now the shadows this is where you can go overboard and it's best to just just do a little bit and try it I mean you can even see there I mean I have pulled some of it out not much We've already got some hazing going on. Now I'm just looking at it closely and there is a little bit of noise as well, but I don't want to push it too much. So what I'm thinking of doing here is just pulling it a little bit further down because I think we've gone a little bit too far there. Let's just have a look at that. It has made a little bit of difference. You can tell with this tree up here and the highlights. Now the shadows hasn't really made much of a difference. So what we'll do is we'll just try this shadow and just lift that up a little bit. And can you see there what it's doing with the parade down here? It's like stretching all that detail out and pulling it up into the mids, which is what I want to do. So we've gone from that to that and we haven't had any sharpness yet yes we've got like a little red hint of red in this so what I want to do is just try and bring some of that back using the temp that's your white balance basically the temperature of the screen so color well we want to bring some mids in here as well some mid detail let's go crazy Right, look at these clouds, uh, these, um, let's just change that to zero. Let's just look in these cows here in this field, or horses, or the horses these. And you can tell that bringing it up by 50%, I've actually brought quite a lot of it. And now you can actually see some of that detail in this wall. And you have noticed some detail in this uh, mountain as well. Has actually made it punch a little bit more so now what we can do is go back over to the sharpness tab whatever that is there and you can just look how crazy that is coming down 42 points so with this one we've already added some detail in here so I'm only going to come down to 0.49 and I think that'll be fine but there you go you can see the difference It's a very hard image to actually uh, colour grade or, I don't know, improve, as it were, because you, you've got really harsh shadows, but then you've got really harsh highlights. So please, if you did like it, please hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not. And I will see you next time. Peace out.